Please subscribe to channel Squiggle Mom. Super cute, super cute. Okay, I am so excited. We have a development. This is a character from Five Nights at Freddy's, which is kind of like a horror video game or something. I don't even know. I've never played it. But someone asked me to make it for him, and I did. This is him out. And I just want to tell you, this is about the size of a human baby. And when I cuddle it like this, I don't know if you can see, I'm cuddling it, and it is so comforting. And I really think that it would behoove someone to have a comfort doll. And I looked it up, and sure enough, there is such a thing. But we are also working to help others. In this case, uh, the businesses at the village. I'm kind of visualizing that we can hold classes to build what I call village kids. And everybody who is a business owner here in the village, Shoreline Village, has their baby, their business. And in this case, this is the Irish business here in Shoreline Village, which I'm, I got to pitch it to them. Whether, and even if not, I suppose I can just make Lucky and have a class with others and then make a donation or something. But that's the idea. So the idea is that Lucky's head is much bigger than this one because I did a different character and the bigger head was more popular. But Lucky's eyes have clovers and with little eyelashes and a clover shaped mouth with a darker uh, green sort of because you know when you have your mouth open it's darker inside and three little clover buttons but if you wanted you could put more clovers here when you're making yours I'm trying to figure out <coughs> excuse me, a handmade version so that you don't have to have a sewing machine to do it. So that's what I'm going to be working on now. Hope you like it. Super cute, super cute. After you cut out a lot of the shapes that you're looking for, you put them on a piece of paper and you put the heat and bond backing on there. This is heat and bond light and it'll create the ability to do iron-ons for all of your um, pieces. I've just sort of disrupted it, so I'm going to replace that and then I'm going to iron it onto here and then I'll show you how that works. Okay, here they are after they've been ironed. So you can see that they're all stuck on and then I just cut around, peel them off and then apply it and I'll show you a little bit of that too. After you've applied the heat and bond, you tear off, pull off, not tear off, the backing from each piece, apply it to the spot where you want it to end up, and then I'm going to use them like eyes with eyelashes, sort of a combo, and then you just heat with the iron. I'm just pressing it to get it started and then I'll turn it over and press it from the back where it's more likely to get the heat it needs. And you'll see I have multiple layers here. The more layers you have, of course, the more difficult it will be. But there's my mouth. And the green, what do you call that, clover here ends up being a little bit like a nose and a mouth at the same time. So I'm turn it over. And this is shenanigans. The luck of the Irish. Look at that. Super cute, super cute!